Hey, hello physicists, what's the crack? So today we're gonna to talk about material and modal dispersion because it was asked about you underneath the chats in the TikTok, okay? So material versus modal dispersion. What we're actually talking about is your optic fibers again. So we did a TikTok before on how optic fiber cables work, okay? So what happens is we're putting light into the optic fiber and we wanna get our signal at the end. We want our signal to be sharp. We don't want our signal to be broadened, okay? We want to get a sharp signal so we can actually find out what the information was, not a weak signal, okay? So the first one is called modal dispersion. The way I remember modal dispersion is MO, it's the same letters that start with monochromatic light, okay? So modal dispersion is when we are already using monochromatic light. So we are using monochromatic light, which means a single wavelength. So let's just say we're using red, okay? So modal dispersion is when we are using monochromatic light. The problem then is because the light is going in at different angles. So for example, say this light ray comes in here, hits this boundary, total internal reflection, this boundary, total internal reflection, this boundary, total internal reflection, okay? But let's say I set red light in, monochromatic light again, at a different angle. Let's say I put it in, coming in this angle. It's gonna hit this boundary, total internal reflection, this boundary, total internal reflection, that boundary, total internal reflection, that boundary, total internal reflection. So you can clearly see one wave has traveled a much shorter distance than the other wave. So because one wave traveled a shorter distance, that means it's going to arrive much sooner than the wave that traveled a further distance, which is going to arrive much later in time. So my signal is going to be broadened. So the problem with modal dispersion is that the rays are all coming in at different angles. And because they're coming in at different angles, they're then all traveling different distances which means they're all arriving at different times. So my signal gets broadened, which I don't want to happen, okay? So then the other one, material dispersion, is because we're not using monochromatic light. So this time we're gonna have our optic fiber and we're not using monochromatic light. So let's say we put red light in and let's say we put violet light in or blue light in, let's go for blue, okay? The problem with material dispersion then is that different colors of light travel at different speeds. And we know this because of the Pink Floyd album, right? So the Pink Floyd album, which is refraction, is I put a white light in. When my white light, which is all colors of the rainbow, hits the boundary of the glass prism, what happens is refraction occurs, and then we can see that all the colors of the rainbow get split up. We can see red, sorry, we can see that red gets refracted the least, and violet light, or purple light, gets refracted the most. Okay? And this happens because they all travel different speeds. Red is refracted the least, so that means it basically kept traveling at the same distance, at the same speed, sorry. So red kept traveling roughly at the same speed, where violet light changed speed the most, it was changed direction the most, so it must travel the slowest. So we know that red travels the fastest. Okay? So what the problem is here, if I put red light in, it's gonna travel much faster through the optic fiber than the blue light. So because the red light is traveling faster, it's going to arrive much sooner at my signal. So here it's going to be red is what I'm going to receive first. Whereas the blue light is going to travel much slower and take a much longer time to get through the optic fiber. So I'm going to receive the blue light later in time. Okay. So again, I don't have my narrow beam. I have a wider or broadened beam, which makes my signal weaker. So material dispersion, the problem is that we are not using monochromatic light. So the different wavelengths travel at different speeds. Okay, so again, top tip. MO, modal dispersion, is you are using monochromatic light already. The problem then must be because of the angles. Okay, so that's grand. Follow me for more physics content like this.